Hi, I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is Dark Romance Recommendations. This is, I believe, my third dark romance recommendation video. I have others that are like bully or taboo or other things that might fall under dark romance category, but these 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 this gosh heaven is my third official dark romance recommendation video so first off i have truly by carmel rhodes this is a new adult bully romance and it begins with the hero sexually assaulting the heroine on page so this is the dark content this is the darkest thing that happens in the book is what makes it a dark romance and obviously you should be aware that this is the content that you are getting into so is the night of her high school graduation that's when the assault happens and it goes from this sexual assault to kind of dubious consent to consensual non-consent and the relationship through that progression and can they have a relationship how can they have a relationship all of those things that is the theme of the book that is the dark content that is all the darkness that happens in it. I really enjoyed this one. I did end up rooting for the couple, which I thought was gonna be a hard sell, honestly, because <laughs> hello, we don't we don't like sexual assault. I was surprised at how she was able to pull me in. And also this is an interesting book because the main character is named from the Bible verse that if you have faith and you can move mountains, with the faith, the grain of a mustard seed. I don't know how Truly fits in there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Her name is Truly. But it's interesting because it, you know, talks a lot about the Bible and verses. And you have this journal of her mother's. She's going on a road trip, the same road trip that her mother went on before she went to college. And you also have her dealing with this dark relationship and this very dark start to the relationship. It's just an interesting balance of things to have in one book. But I did really enjoy it. Next one I have is The Woman in the Trunk, which is The Coast of Family number one by Jessica Gaziella. This is her New York City Mafia family romance. This one is pretty dark. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty dark for her. I feel like it's darker than Jessica's average book. So this one is very much a captive captor romance. He kidnaps her and puts her in the trunk of his car, hence the woman in the trunk, because her dad owes money to his dad and his dad is not stable. He's very abusive. He's not stable. He's not somebody that you want to cross, but ultimately he can't take him out without the weight of all of the family is coming down on him. So even though he is unstable and can literally kind of kill any of his men at any point, there's nothing that they can do about it. So it's not the safest place to be. So he's trying to protect her because they've never kidnapped a woman or a daughter of a debtor or enemy before, like that's off limits, but he also cannot tell his dad no without possibly dying himself. So it's just a very interesting thing where he's doing things that he doesn't necessarily want to do. And she's like, well, that's great that you don't really want to do it, but you're still doing it. <laughs> and it's just them and it, the ending, I was just like, wow, wow. Okay, all right, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit darker. It is definitely a main character who doesn't just take things lying down and is actively trying to escape and trying to make her situation better. And a hero who really has his hands tied and is arguably doing not great things. He's holding this woman captive against her will, but he also doesn't completely have a choice. And again, it's just her being like, you, you don't get a pass for that. You don't get a pass for it. I'm still here. And yeah, it's really, <laughs> really good. A lot of violence. A lot of violence in this book. So maybe a little bit darker on the mafia end of things, of things that I personally am comfortable reading, but still within my comfort zone, just more towards the top and really good. <laughs> next, I have a much lighter one, I feel like, which is maybe next time, which is Vegas Nights number one by Christina C. Jones. This has an established couple and she wants a divorce. And you have to know that the content warning for this book is miscarriage so they had a miscarriage and their reactions to that and their grief process and the response is what has put their marriage in the position it's in now 
So that is a big theme throughout the book because that was the catalyst for their marriage kind of falling apart. And she wants to divorce and he's like, um, no, you are my wife. I love you. No. And so he kidnaps her and is like, we're going to work on our marriage. And that's the darkest thing that happens. Arguably, it's not for everybody. I absolutely adored it so much. It was so good. These are novellas. The second one is Friends to Lovers. And the third one is a motorcycle club, younger man, older woman, and it is kinky. <laughs> it's very kinky. So they're great, but they do kind of walk the line of lighter dark romance. And especially if you're looking for a place to start, if you like black love romances, these are perfection. Then I have A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. This is actually my favorite book of the year. It is a fantasy romance. He is kind of a barbarian, tribesman, warlord general, and she is a princess who has been kept in a tower. But her father is extremely abusive. He is seized power where she should be the rightful ruler of the country because it is a matriarchy and so most of the people in her country don't even know that she exists the princess exists he's kept her locked up her whole life and she is like the smartest character that you will ever see and she escapes but when she escapes the hero believes that she is responsible for the death of his parents so her father killed his parents said that they you know broke the truce and stuff and killed them horrifically and he blames her and he wants to get revenge through her and she's just like you know what would be a great revenge is if you married me and put a baby in me and then I could take the country and that would ruin my dad's day whereas me dying like that would be doing him a favor he doesn't actually care about that and it's them on a journey and they are getting to know each other and this is one of those romances where if you can't forgive the hero for doing bad things to her when he's a good person because this is this is my disclaimer this is what I think this is how I viewed the book because he views her as an enemy and not as his woman right he would never do that to the love of his life but he's viewing her as the enemy and so that's okay if you can't, if you don't like that, then this might not be for you. But if you're like, hey, if he's going to figure out that he messed up and grovel, it's so good. And the main character is like my favorite of the year. She's so smart. She's so amazing. It's so, so great. Lastly, I have Sacrifice by Katie Robert. This is a vampire. It's reverse harem, but it's really polyamorous because all four of them, well, it is a female vampire, which is a half vampire, half human, and three male vampires. The three male vampires also have relationships with each other. So you can have any of the guys with the girl and you can also have any of the guys with each other. They all have relationships, romantic, emotionally, sexually. So it's really polyamorous. It's all four of them having a relationship, but it's so good. So she is literally sent as the sacrifice. She is sent to this vampire who has been locked up for years and years and years. And she's being sent both as a blood bank and as a womb. So she is his food, but also if he gets her pregnant, that would serve her dad's plans perfectly because he will take her. Once the baby's born, he'll kill her, he'll have the baby, and he'll be able to control the father by threatening violence against the child. So she is just like, I'm gonna die, <laughs> right? And it's very dark in that way. And her father is abusive and just the worst, we hate him. So it's interesting because it's still dark and the consent is kind of on the edge. But also the guys do wait for her to give consent but also it's like violent being cute which I have a thing for and it's greatness and then also you have the vampire let's say he makes her give consent for sexual things but not necessarily for drinking her blood but he does kind of, I don't know, I'm gonna reread it for like the third time because the third one's coming out soon. It's so good. If you like darker paranormal especially where sex is a heavy theme throughout the book and honestly it's vampires trying to save the world via sex and it's so good i love it like i love it but if that sounds good to you i think you would love it too <laughs> so that's some very wildly different uh kind of sub genres 
going on in this particular video, but they are all on the darker end while still being in my personal comfort zone of dark romance. So if you want more detailed spoilery content warnings, absolutely feel free to message me on Instagram. I'm always happy to provide that for you. And uh, if you read, let me know if you've read any of these, if you have any recommendations, all of the things, talk to me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.